Alright, how you doing YouTube? Silver Joker here. Um, this right here is archival footage of the uh, Wright Flyer. And this was its uh, first uh, first flight right here, uh, 1903. Um, as you see in here, this was at Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, uh, December 7th. And why am I showing you this? Because I want these images right here to be on your mind when you see what I have to show you. Now I bought this, this um, model from a antique mall here in Cincinnati. Um, the guy had it at a very good price, a uh, very good, extraordinary price. So I was a little worried about it. So I took it to Phil to have him fill over there at, um, at uh, Franklin Street Coin Company. I took it over to him because he would absolutely know uh, what this is. So I took it over to him and um, he told me about it. And the information he gave was so good, so unique, so interesting that I decided to uh, record it and uh, upload it so you guys could see it. So what you're about to see is uh, kind of a, I don't want to say interview because it's not really an interview, it's just me filming our little interaction there when he's telling me about um, this thing. So I actually I actually bought this, this model uh, before I went to the Columbus Coin Show. And um, so while I was at the Columbus Coin Show, I uh, was doing a little research and I came across these images right here, what you're seeing. These are images from the internet um, because I did not have the, uh, the actual model with me. So I, I downloaded these. It's a very good model, very good images. So I wanted you guys to see these right here just to kind of whet your appetite for what you're about to see. But these are just some images from the internet. There's not a lot of information on the internet about this particular object here. But, um, but these are some images. I believe the one that I have, the one that you're about to see, actually looks better than this right here. But these are some really good pictures, and I kind of want to just show you guys these, kind of get you in the mood for what you're about to see. So this is my model. This is what I bought from the uh, antiques dealer there at the uh, Antiques Mall. Now look at that. That is beautiful. That is two pounds of 0.925 sterling silver. Two pounds. Beautiful. I uh, got it for a really good price. All the hallmarks are there. The patina is there. All that beautiful toning on there. It's just the most unique object that I've ever seen. So I had to have it. So I took it to Phil, asked him about it. Um, and when he saw it, his eyes lit up. And this is what he told me. So legitimately, yeah. um, you know, from, this, from the markings and from all the um, documentation right. that we have on it, certainly it's, it's made out of sterling. Right. Whether it's exactly two pounds, it's hard to say. I'm yeah. sure I don't want to take it off and try to weigh it. But right. It looks like it's fairly sturdy. Yeah. Two pounds of sterling would essentially mean um, two troy pounds, which right. in actuality, that's 12 ounces of sterling per pound. So you have 24 ounces of there. So, I mean, so he said it might not be actual two pounds. I mean, he didn't want to take it out away. And I, and I agree with him on that. So I asked him, you know, basically how many were made? I mean, did, when did they make them and how many were made? Uh, according to documentation, there were a thousand made. Now, obviously, you have to be careful when they say a thousand were made. You assume that that's the case. The survival right. rate, though, is what really matters. Right. How many actually still survive today? These uh, planes, in my best guess were probably made over 20 years ago. I don't think they were something that was currently done. Right. Um, and the fact that they numbered them uh, makes it a little easier to track yeah. how many survived because you can document when the different um, serial numbers sell from one to a thousand, but yeah. I don't know who would be keeping track of that right now. Wow. Um, I would say on these types of things, um, I would say usually less than half usually survive, you know, wow. a period of 20 years. Uh, so if it destroyed, they get um, thrown out uh, in terms of just people don't know what they are and they're right. out, um, you know, their parents' home, grandparents' home, it doesn't interest them. Or they get broken um, and then of course they become scrap. Um, <laughs> and melt them down and make other things out yeah. of it. So of course, my next question was who would be interested in this? Would it be silver collectors, silver stackers like me, or would it have to be somebody that was a Wright Brothers collector or maybe an aviation fanatic? And this is what he told me. You'll find interest uh, from individuals that collect uh, aviation products. Right. And also people that collect sterling. Uh, you, there's, this is a dual group. 
collected uh, because people that like sterling silver um, will buy anything uniquely made with sterling, and this would fall certainly in that class. Yeah. Very unique, um, very time consuming, I'm sure, to hand assemble this. I can't imagine these not being hand assembled. I mean, the appearances that they are hand assembled, it's not something that's machined uh, and put together by a machine. All right. So. That's good information. That's more than what I knew about it. It's supposed to be an exact replica of the original Kitty Hawk plane that took off. And actually, the original plane sailed for close to 60 feet that day when it took off. That would happen. And they were able to, you know, withstand the, the air. They didn't come crashing down. Right. They considered it a success. And then subsequent trials, they get further and further along, uh, you know, once they tweak the, the uh, plane itself. Right. So, this is um, this is an interesting piece of history, actually, you know, considering the the F-16s and the yeah. F-18s. Are everything, yeah, every, today. right, everything, <laughs> everything began right here. So this is, yeah. yeah, this is kind of the Rosetta Stone for aviation, right here. <laughs> it hasn't been that long ago. With how fast technology is. That is amazing. <laughs> that is awesome. Well, you too, buddy. Think. Look at that. I mean, that is just so beautiful. That if you see that in person, I mean, I mean, I'm the, the, the camera here is doing a pretty good job showing you some of the patina. I mean, look how beautiful that thing is. I mean, that is absolutely just gorgeous piece of silver. Keep in mind, it's close to two pounds, uh, very close to two pounds, I believe. Like I said, we didn't weigh it because you have to take it off out of this display to do that. But it's just beautiful. If you want to see it and you're in the Cincinnati area, just go down to Field Shop. Uh, Franklin Street Coin Company and look at this thing. Do yourself a favor. I'm sure he's got it displayed. I couldn't think of a better place to leave it. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful piece of history, piece of art. And, um, you know, Phil just, you know, was thrilled to give me the information about it. I felt it was so interesting. I had to share that with you guys. So, you know, leave in the comments. Tell me what you think. And if you want to see more stuff like this, go ahead and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. And, um, you know, let's just uh, keep looking for those unique things and keep stacking. Peace.